So folks, we've picked out some Obsidian plugins that we think will be useful if you're a newbie to check out a little bit more about how to take full advantage of the Obsidian platform. Now we're going to list them below, so if you want to skip forward and uh, use the timestamps to find a specific one that you like, then feel free to do so. Now before we begin, you have to have safe mode off, which means that your account may be a little bit unstable. It's a bit like having beta mode off or on, so just be aware of that before you commit to actually jumping into some of these community plugins. Plugins. The second one is as well is we have an Obsidian course if you're looking to learn Obsidian from scratch so check that out below. So before we fully get into this video today's video is sponsored by Pipedrive. Here's a little bit more about them but you can get a deal below to activate uh, in the application. No matter how much experience you have selling your product Pipedrive will make it easier bringing you better more engaged leads 24 7 so you can focus on the right people at the right time and convert them to deals in your sales pipelines which can be fully customized to visualize your process. Every call and email are automatically tracked and say goodbye to repetitive tasks like sending routine follow-up emails. Workflow automation can do it all, which frees up time to gather insights and measure performance against set goals, no matter where you are. Pipedrive, designed to keep you selling. So Obsidian, as I said, is full of community plugins. Community plugins can be found in the settings area, You're heading down to community plugins. And I said, again, make sure that switch on that safe mode if you're looking to get these activated and install them. But just be aware that does obviously change the way that Obsidian uh, security works, especially if you're in the sync mode. So Obsidian has a few. I want to start with the calendar one, which has been downloaded over downloaded over 72,000 times by Liam, Liam Kane. And this application or this plugin allows you to create a simple calendar view for navigating between your daily notes and it's really simple but it's a great way if you want to visualize your calendar you know ahead of time and go and create a daily note uh, on any of them it's really cool it's a very simple sort of methodology and there's some great guidelines on how to improve the way that tags are set up the template tags which you can find in some of the details here as well in his description there is also a great guide from Nick Milo and Santi about how to use this and get started. So moving on to the second plugin, this is one that is prom normally promoted um, as a concept developed by Andy Matusik. Matusik, I don't want to get his name wrong, but it's called Sliding Paint. It's essentially a way for you to view multiple panes at once and almost like a book. Uh, be able to scroll through them from side to side, close them down, open them up. And uh, I really like this visual concept um, as a way to sort of toggle between them. Now you can download this one. And uh, as I said, it's a concept that Andy Matusek has uh, sort of inspired from his own UI and his own notes. So that's something to note. So number three is one developed by James Lynch. It has 24,000 downloads and it's a day planner. So it's a little bit different to the way that the calendar is built. Um, essentially the day planner allows you to to use a new note to essentially plan your day out using timestamps. And then this beautiful calendar or sort of timeline view comes up on the right hand side, which means you can plan visually using a different color system and organize your day ahead. So if somebody's, if you're somebody that's a bit more like time block based, this could be a good little addition to the way that you use Obsidian. So number four is a better word count. Now this is a really small addition, but for example, if you're looking to use Obsidian for writing, then you may want a better way of seeing your word count. So at the bottom, you'll see a new and improved word count, which has words and characters. And as you go, they keep updated. This is perfect. For example, if you want to select text and you're like writing an essay or maybe writing a piece of work that maybe a tweet <laughs> and you want to see how many characters it is, you can use select or you can just see a general overview of how uh, many words are being counted. So very detailed, but very cool as a, just an improvement and they're looking to customize it even further. So another small addition is read time. So if you wanted to be able to say you're writing medium articles or something like that and you want to be able to judge how long the read time is, you can, for example, have that in set up so that at the bottom with the words and the characters you can have read time appear there now you can also set change the settings for that of how many words per minute people are used to be reading so you can change the speed uh, which might be helpful for improving the flow of articles on a website uh, ju or just in general uh, trying to keep your read count down or up so number six is iconography. You can actually use an icons plugin that is uh, currently beta experimental in 0.3. Camillo Vicini has used this one and it's available to install, but it means that you can use, for example, some of the plugins. It means that you can use the plugin 
to add in some icons. And you can do that through using some specific code to be able to bring them up. But it means in the preview, you get a really gorgeous looking iconography. And especially on that sidebar too, it improves the way that it, it makes the application look. So that's definitely something you know, decent. If you're someone that's used to Notion and when you maybe you get jealous about Notion's way that they do the icons as well. And finally, we have a final recommendation, which is a checklist plugin. This essentially helps if you've got any checklist or note, you can basically, whatever ones that's brought up, you can have it appear in the right hand sidebar next to all of your linked mentions. The way to see your tasks in preview mode, but in this very neat sort of checklist mode, which is very cool. So there's a few ways that you can help configure this, but it's a decent way for grouping to be able to separate certain lists that you may have and see it in a bit of a cleaner fashion. Anyway, folks, hopefully you enjoyed some of these Obsidian plugins. These are all community plugins, so please do make sure to check them out and all the details before you commit to using them. But all of these have been uh, quite heavily downloaded already in the Obsidian community, of course. So hopefully you found some benefit from that. Let me know if you have any recommended plugins in the description below. I'd love to hear, but a big thank you very much. Make sure you're subscribed and do check out the pipe drive deal below. Thank you very much. <laughs>